exist in a Christian nation. That's what some people say. Maybe that's why they often ask, why do we need missionaries here? There are places in North America where there are very few churches. People are very open to conversation, but nine times out of 10, they have not heard of Jesus. There is no pastors, there is no people who can share the gospel with them. There's lives that can be made whole with the gospel. And we're watching God change people's hearts and change people's lives. But I wish people knew how many more laborers we need in the mission field. Because it's more than we can handle. But church planting is hard. We just gotta work together. We can do more together than we can do apart. We need all the help that we can get, and that's what Annie does. It allows for more laborers to come here. The Annie Armstrong Easter offering unites us all. Big and little, young and old, black and white. We all give because we know that when we do, our communities will look more like this. We all give because we know there's a name and a face on the other side of that gift. This offering, this gift that we're giving to and that everyone else is giving to, it does have a face. It's my face. This is the body. This is the body of Christ. That's what any Armstrong means to me. So that's just an appropriate reminder for us there. We're going to try something a little new here. Remember we've had uh, our Experiencing God prayer for quite a while. And so um, actually uh, Isaiah was the one that penned this one. And so um, let's all say it together. Father, Father God, keep us in your way. Always walking in your truth. So we are equipped to point others to Jesus. The only source of eternal life. Amen. Amen. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, Annie Armstrong looks like our church goal was $2,500. So um, keep that in, in prayer. Uh, this is a movie called The Case for Heaven. I don't know anything about it, actually, but I do know that uh, Lee Strobel, I guess, is uh, the author of that, and I do know a little bit about him. So, does anybody know anything about it and want to mention? I hear somebody saying something. Okay. Anyway, it's going to be uh, April 4th, 5th, and 6th. Now, my oldest daughter, Jamie, says it's really good. She's, she actually seen it. So. Lee Strobel is a guy that, uh, he was an atheist, and he died, and went to heaven, and, and came back to life, and through his research and everything, he became a Christian, and so he, he wrote the, the case for Christ, right. and then he yeah. also wrote this one, the case for heaven. Yeah, yeah, I've read the book, The Case for Christ, and it's, it's, a, it's a very, very good book. Uh, Operation Christmas Child Work Day. Anybody want to say anything about that? I just want to say we've had a couple of awesome work days. We've had a day one and an evening one, and I appreciate everybody's help, but we're going to need lots of help on all the coming work days. And don't forget, shoppers, when you find a good deal, buy it up and let us know so other shoppers can buy some stuff too. All right. <laughs> and this is me again. Um, the ladies are starting to have some fellowship and functions. Our first one will be April 9th. It will be a ladies' tea here at the church over in Fellowship Hall from 2 to 4. And this is for ladies of all ages, whether you're one day old or 110 years old, you're invited. 
I have a sign-up sheet. I know some of you all hate sign-up sheets, and I apologize for that. But we kind of need to get an idea of how many may be coming so that we can have tables and things set up. And I will be back here at the back for the sign-up sheet for the ladies' tea. So, Jackie, that means that day you have to watch the baby. <laughs> <laughs> While Krista goes to the ladies' tea. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> Church decor. It's about to be Saturday the night. Uh, I think that looks like Michelle is the one that's leading that. I know she's not here today. She's actually going to be traveling tomorrow. So, uh, write that down. 10.30 on Saturday the night. Easter service. We're going to have, as Brother Jim used to say, Rafa's. Breakfast. Breakfast. <laughs> you remember that last word? Rafa's. Breakfast. And so we're going to do that at 8 30, and then we'll have Sunday school at 10 and worship service at 11. Um, I think that's going to be awesome. Amen. Yeah. And I know some people hate side sheets, but the side sheet in the kitchen door is going to bring Oh, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Sign up sheet. Parents died out. We've had a couple of great ones and we're looking forward to more. So the next one is the 23rd of April, which that's actually... That's actually the fourth Saturday. Yes. Yeah. So Easter day on the third. Right. But for the rest of the year, we're on third Saturday. And I guess that's it. Anybody have anything else? <coughs> All right, then. Well, that's it. Back to you. All right, everybody, let's stand up, please. We'll uh, sing our verse here, and one of you will close us out. Close us out, please. Father, we just thank you and praise you, Lord, for allowing us to be in your house today, Lord. Thank you for the message that we heard, Father. Let us uh, take from the Bible to our everyday lives, Lord. Let us sink deep into our heart, Father. And, uh, uh, let us uh, use it this week, uh, Father, as we come across those that don't know you, Lord. Let us be a shining light in their world, Lord, and, uh, and tell them about our Lord and Savior, Jesus. Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord, we just thank you and praise you. Just ask that you be with each and every one as we be here today. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Have a good week, everybody. Amen.